Hello there, world. We are creating our first project uh, where I'm actually online. I need to make an analog clock for a student. And I figured, you know what? Instead of doing it, um, instead of doing it on my own, I would do it with you guys watching. And multitask, of course, as well. <laughs> All right. So an analog clock, I would start first with a cylinder. When you pull that cylinder out, uh, I like to keep it a circle. So I'm going to hold down shift and drag it out. And then I'm going to make it printable. So I'm going to go 35 millimeters. That's nice and small. And then I'm going to change the height of it to one millimeter. So there's my clock face. And then I'm going to zoom in and do a top view of it. And then I want to add the numbers for my clock. So I'm going to go from the basic shapes to the symbols. Nope, the numbers. They're there. And I think I'm going to just put the main ones. So I'm going to bring out the 12. And I'm going to use the work plane tool so that they uh, show up on top. So I'm going to press W. And now when I bring out the 1 and the 2, they'll sit on top of that shape, which I could also tell from looking at from the front. I'm going to shrink them down a little bit smaller. I'm going to bring out the two and I'm going to make it so it matches. I'm going to do that top view so I can get a good look at them. And I'm going to bring those right together. So there's my 12 o'clock. Over here, I'm going to add a three o'clock, which is quite easy. Because of the work plane, they drop right on the face. And I can shrink them down to the exact size that I want. Right here would be my six o'clock. And then I need to bring in my 12 or my nine o'clock helps if I say the right words. So you can see that is starting to look like a nifty little clock. I think I'd like my clock to have a ring around it. So I'm going to do that with the tube. I'm going to go back to the basic shapes. And in the tube, I am going to find, there's my tube. Still want to drop it on top of the shape. Remember, we were 35 for the measurements. So I'm going to simply hold down the shift and drag that out till it gets to 35. And that lines up pretty good. But uh, it's because of the wall thickness, it's different. So I'm going to go 32. Uh, and then make it a wall thickness of one. And I think then it'll match up just perfect. Because what that did was a one millimeter on each side. Nope. I'm going to try two. See if that makes it so it lines up. Not quite. So I'm going to just do it by hand. And then I'm going to make it a lot thinner. Yeah, so now my clock's got the numbers. It's got the ring around it. And then I think I need to add the little arms. And I'm going to add my arms using the round roof. Turn it from the side so I can squeeze it down. And I want to move it to the middle. So that it's below and it comes up just short. And then I'm going to duplicate it using the duplicate button. And then I'm going to take the second one. I'm going to just rotate it. Make sure it connects at the middle. And I'm going to pick the exact time I want to use. So there you have it. A pretty simple analog clock. I'm going to grab just these two pieces. And I'm going to line them quick. Because everything's better when it's centered. And that's just an idea for how easily you could make one. If you don't like part of it, you can get rid of it. You can fiddle with it and make it as awesome as you want. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't know where the chat is on this. Uh, Would have liked to be able to talk with you all, but I just don't see it in this one. So that's something I'm going to explore.
Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Oh, there's chat. It's good to find all the toys. We got three viewers. Anybody have an idea how I should have done it different? What could have I added that would have been smarter? I'm going to try the ring with this. See if that looks better. More like a clock. This is your first time using Tinker Tinkercad. Uh, changing colors is as simple as clicking on uh, the little shape and picking it. Uh, this is also, if you hold down shift, you can click two pieces and you can group them. Uh, if you want all your uh, numbers to be the same color, it's easy to just flip and switch through them. Uh, if you wanted your whole project grouped, uh, you can just grab it all and hit group. And then when you do that, it turns to one color. But there is a super cool feature that you can turn on called multicolor. So it comes back to looking the way you wanted it. All right, friends, thanks for checking in. Hope you have a great night. Take care. Peace out.